Hi, everyone. I want to share with you a lesson that I wish other traders in my life would have shared with me early on, which is the importance of paying yourself first and foremost daily to help you pay your rent, pay your food, pay your basic necessities, and then you can use that to play golf and sushi. But it is super important that you understand that when you day trade or swing trade, it is not a video game. It took me a long time. And guys, I'm telling you, this is a game changer. If you pay yourself daily multiple times, as I'm going to show you in a real account, the way that I do, I'll show you in August how much I paid myself. You'll understand how key. I'll show you the process that I use and how I skim. When the market goes up $500, boom, I take $250. It goes down $250. I don't do anything. It goes back above the baseline of your starting capital and you keep on grinding every day. Some people do transfer back to their bank account weekly, monthly. Does not work for me. You need to do it multiple times a day because multiple times a day you are going to be above that starting capital baseline. So let's go. Let's go deep. This is the lesson that I wish someone would have told me early on when I started 28 years ago trading SPY, ES futures, NQs. You know, this is what I do. I do mostly that for the trading and everything else. I reinvest in assets to buy assets, stocks, real estate that provide income with tax efficiency and asset protections. Let's go. Let's go deep. So you can see here some of the transfers that I've done over the past uh, uh, few weeks. And it is important that you see something here. I did two transfers. So I paid myself twice, $300 and $1,700. So this was a $2,000 transfer right there, twice in a day. Another day here, look, where I did it again, twice in a day here on the 21st, twice in a day, 500, 1500. Here, twice in a day, 500. So here, 1,000. Here, 1,500. Here, 2,000. This is key. Each time you go above your baseline, you pay yourself, you pay yourself, you pay yourself. You can see if you total this for August, well, that's over $10,000, you know? So those are all the stuff that went to what? To the bank, Mark. And all of those are withdrawals that you can see. So what I'm going to share with you and the principles that I'm going to share with you are critical. Those are principles I wanted to show you in a real account. See here, this is a real browser. I go back here, boom. This is my TD Ameritrade Live, right? I want to show you this is real. And this is quite a bit of money here. If you look at it, this is uh, uh, $2,000, uh, um, uh, 2004, 48, 48, 68, 68, uh, 78, 78, uh, 88, 88, uh, blah, 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 10, 11, 12, you know, 14, 16, like almost $17,000 of transfers in August. Okay, so now how is that being done and how I look at the baseline to help you? So hopefully, again, those are uh, stuff I wish someone would have told me when I started 28 years old, when I was 22, now I'm 52, so it's 30 years really uh, now. And those principles are, are, are the only principles that are going to save yourself from yourself to do bad stuff, to keep the money in and keep on reinvesting and gambling and gambling the same amount of money. You want to take it out, reinvest in safer outcomes. Take it out, reinvest in safer outcomes. Take it out, reinvest in safer outcomes. So, so the way you pay yourself, and hopefully you'll see it better like this, the way you pay yourself, in my opinion, that has worked for me and hopefully I'll work for you, is to understand this. You start with a, a starting capital. That's your baseline, right? So let's say you start here. That is your baseline. Let's say your baseline and your starting uh, uh, capital is 30K, okay? That's your baseline. That's your net liquidation value, NLV, right? And you start the day, boom, boom, ding, ding, 930. 
right? You are going to be at one point during the day, it's like a video game, and that's why you want to avoid that video game. You are going to go up, you are going to go down, you are going to go below the baseline, you are going to go by the cup and back above. What I'm trying to do, and you saw it here, I gave you the proof at least twice a day, is when I go above the chunk baseline here or here, I wire you out, take out. I take out the money, take one, take out twice, then it dips. Let's say, and I finish the day even on the dip here. Let's say this is the end of the day. It's still perfectly fine because look what happened. You start at 30, you go to 31. 31, we drop here, we're at 28. 28 during the day because this is really what happens in traders and, and investors profit and loss. We don't chunk this thing consistently enough. So 28, boom, you come back 32, right? Now you take here 1K, you take everything above your baseline. That's the top of your morning and in the afternoon, you were able to do another good trade where you are 2K above the baseline, you take your 2K. So now you took 2K, 1K, you have 3K that you have transferred out. Now, hear me out. At the end of the day, you do that last stupid trade that everybody does, right? And you are done all the way to 28K. But guess what? Here you are on minus 2K from your baseline, but you already wire 3K. So what is the true result for your life? The true result for your life is you added $3,000 to your bank which now you are going to invest in safer asset, right? That are going to provide you income, which is either you become an entrepreneur, right? I am an entrepreneur, I own companies, and also I am a partner in other companies, or I uh, use it for real estate, or I use it to buy stocks, more stocks that have dividend, the part of the money put, the part of the money called that create assets safer assets that have income, right? So you will never give back that money back to the market. That's my point. Here, you finish $2,000 negative in your net liquidation value in your trading account. You are 28K. Right. Guess what? This one plus this one, you are up still for the day $1,000 in net worth. Your net worth you know, is what's the most important. Your trading account, plus your bank account, plus your real estate, plus your stocks, plus all the stuff that have tax efficiency and asset protection. When you do that, everybody, in and out, in and out, in and out, in a consistent way, it's the way that you keep on chunking this thing above the baseline. And I'm telling you, it's a, a game changer. People do a mistake. Weekly transfer, uh, monthly transfer. Uh, what you need to do is chunk it. Have your ICH from TD Ameritrade or whoever broker you use, Schwab, Fidelity, or Interactive Broker. Have it ready, open on a tab to chunk it. You're up for the day, you go take a cup of coffee, transfer. Take a cup of transfer, transfer. Because now you buffer the ultimate bad trade coming and you already buffer what is more important is to have a positive expectancy of growing your net liquidation value either up or sideways but you're most importantly keeping your net worth up and that's the most important member keeping your net worth up so i hope this video was helpful again i wish someone would have told me that when i started trading and investing almost 30 years ago if you want more videos like this, your likes, comments are appreciated. Don't forget, below this video, absolutely free, you can get my own power indicator, probability box, rule of third for swing trading and long-term investing, absolutely free. It's a trading view tools that we started doing based on my entire uh, works life in trading and investing journey. It's very powerful to help you to map your trade with higher probabilities and no false BS promises. Love you all, everybody, and see you on the next video. Take care.